on set, please. Here we go. I'm Anthony Porofsky, and this is my perfect 10. I love to exfoliate when I'm in a hotel because I always forget to do it when I'm at home. We went on a ski trip with my family to Tremblant. We stayed at the Cantessons, and it was beautiful. There was a fireplace in the room, and the breakfast, you could have like four different types of cereal. You could have sausage and bacon, like the sky's the limit. Hidden Pond, it's this fun little cozy place and you feel like you're in the middle of the woods and they have these beautiful, unique tree houses that are designed by like local interior designers. There are fire pits everywhere. They have bicycle rentals. It's dog friendly, which is extremely important and I had a really good rack of lamb there. On one end, I want to have like classic American candy bars, but then I also love it when there are like nice local granola or like local jerky. And I want to mix, because I don't know what kind of mood I'm going to be in. The Park Hyatt in Tokyo. I was in Japan and I was like, I'm gonna splurge. The rooms are above the clouds. So you see these beautiful skyscrapers and then you have Mount Fuji in the background. It was just so beautiful and magical after I've unpacked and I've tested out the bed and I've scoped out the channels that are available and checked out the menu, is go for a walk or a run. I'm not opposed. I actually encourage wearing a bathrobe to breakfast, to lunch, to dinner. You're in a hotel. It's all about comfy, cozy vibes. The Mandarin Oriental in Bodrum. Their guest suites have infinity pools that are overlooking the Aegean Sea. It's like a double whammy of water. And on the other end of the spectrum, I really want to check out the Yasuragi Hotel right outside of Stockholm, Sweden. It's like a Japanese ryokan style hotel, but it's also a little Scandinavian and I've never been to that part of the world. So I travel a lot. And so I found myself in Louisville, Kentucky. I stayed at a place called the 21C Museum Hotel. There's a room in there called the Cyclone. First of all, it's in the basement. There's entire stained glass situation that's going on in the background. It was a very weird, unique vibe, but it was very cozy. Oh, and the bed was round. One of my best kept secrets for a really good time stay at the Red Roof Inn in Albany, New York. I went there with my best friend Remo when we were filming an indie film for which I dyed my hair. No one asked me to dye my hair, but I just really wanted to. And then we got pizza at night delivered and we just like ate it in bed and just watched like really trashy TV. It was so perfect. The Cadogan in Belgravia, London. So it's like 7 a.m. Immediately, three shots of espresso just to get things moving a little bit. And I get ready and then I go out and I'm like, oh, I'm in London. And then I just start walking and I will walk everywhere until I get really hungry. And then I find my favorite Indian restaurant. So as I'm walking back to the hotel after dinner, I call the hotel while I'm walking. I order sticky toffee pudding. I'm eating my warm sticky toffee pudding in bed because I don't do that at home, but I'm in a hotel and I'm gonna treat myself. Turn all the lights out, turn my baby noise machine, and it's time for sleep. Thank you. Thank you so much.